Long time no see. I know. I look better now. <laughs> you do. Can I get a hug? Oh, yes. It's good seeing you. Thank you so much. You're so very welcome. If it wasn't for you, I probably wouldn't be here. Well, I don't know about that. Well, you, you didn't stop looking for me, so. I see you. Huh? Come here. Come here. Come here. On your knees. On your knees. I'm not going to tell you again. Get on your knees. Yeah, that was uh, that was some tense moments. I'm sorry if I had a bad mouth at times. <laughs> I don't care. How are you doing? I'm good. You are? I am. Okay. Huh? Get on your knees. On your on your chest. On your chest. On your chest. I'm not going to ask you again. Stop talking to her. Stop talking to her. When I realized that you had been stabbed, when? when paramedic said, hey, you know she's been stabbed, right? Oh, wow. I was so keyed in on him right. and making sure that I needed to get y'all apart. Right. Do you need a rescue squad, ma'am? Where are you injured at? My neck and both sides. Okay. You better forget me, rescue. Hit it this way, please. Uh, I'm not sure where the injuries are all over her body. And the way he was tell, tell him, tell him I, tell him I yeah. didn't do anything. Manipulating the whole right. entire time. Ashley, tell him I didn't You're do anything. You're being that. detained. Stop talking, please. And I was reading right through oh, it. Oh, yeah. But I knew that I had a logistical nightmare. I knew that at that time that you didn't feel like you could walk. Right. And I didn't know if I could navigate another human being right. <laughs> to get back to where we were. Stay right back there, man. You can follow. Beth, we're trying to make our way up this this time. She's saying that she can walk now. So what are you detaining me for? I'm doing an investigation. I gotta figure out what in the world's going on. We were coming down there. He was like, um, if you move or make any noises, I'm gonna kill you. Right. Like he told me he was gonna kill me like ten times. So I was kinda like Well when he heard me? Yeah. Is had y'all seen me yet? No. So I, you okay, ma'am? No, ma'am. Just I'd like you to stay a little bit behind. You hit the nail on the head for the manipulation. You you just kept coming back, and I tried to impress this upon victims time and time again um, that you don't have to stick around, and that it can get worse. I'm glad that you you finally stuck it out and, and gone your separate ways. And, yeah, me too. And but in the courtroom, when the sentencing was going on, you know, he stood up and apologized and stuff, and it just went in one ear and out the other. I just, that's right. the part I never wanted. I try to, I try to tell victims. I said, I don't want, you, I don't want this to be a part of your life. You've been a victim, and I don't want this to be a part of your life. But in preparation for court, whether you have to write it down or you have to put it in the back of your mind. Right. Not in the front of your mind, because you don't. It's not something you need to think about. No. But this needs to be in the back of your mind. And when it comes to court, I want you to be able to reach back in your brain, and be able to bring that back and bring that emotion and how it made you feel. And now I want you to be completely wiped clean of your mind. But I know that that's something that you've lived, and, and that, that's sad. And I, I'd like to encourage you to, to be able to be a, a testimony to other victims. Very good. Yep. You take care. Thank you. Yes, ma'am.